Hello, good morning to everyone. My name is Mohamad Junidike. Here we are discussing about microwave processing, industrial and domestic applications. Okay, then what is microwave processing? <coughs> microwave processing is defined as the use of electromagnetic waves of certain frequency to generate heat in a material, thereby here occurring cooking. It is an electrical heating system that destroys microorganisms via thermal effect. We know we already uh, studied about the principle of the mic uh, microwave processing. Uh, the foods are cooked by exposing it to an electromagnetic radiation in the microwave frequency range. This induces a polar molecule in the food to rotate and produce thermal energy. This is the working principle of microorganisms in the food products. Due to this thermal energy, the food is uh, cooking. Okay, and the frequency is about 950 to 2450 hertz are used to excite polar molecules that produce thermal energy and thereby increase temperature. Microwave energy is produced at a molecular level due to molecular interaction in the electromagnetic field that results in the friction from dipole rotation of polar solvents or from conductive migration of dissolved ions. All these processes, uh, all these theories are uh, already discussed uh, in the previous lectures. Then, uh, this is a schematic representation of microwave oven. We know magnetron. Magnetron is the heart of this uh, microwave oven. And uh, there is a rotating disc. And uh, uh, the oven is uh, here a metallic cavity and is surrounded by the metal for the reflection. And how this working is, micro waves are produced inside the oven by an electron tube called as magnetron. So the magnetron is producing microwaves. The microwaves are reflected within the metal interior of the oven where they are absorbed by food microwaves cause water molecules in food vibrate. So producing heat that cooks the food. So the micro waves produced by the magnetron is uh, hitting it to the metal cavity and then reflecting and uh, and thereby uh, absorbing and the, when it is heated to the food products uh, the water molecule absorb the uh, this energy this uh, waves microwaves so thereby increasing its energy and uh, thereby it vibrates and produce heat that heat uh, is causing to cook the food okay there is a simple representation of the microwave oven then now <coughs> we are directly going to a topic the applications applications there is uh, two type of applications industrial and domestic applications first we discuss about uh, industrial applications of uh, uh, the microwave processings so first two applications are the pasteurization and sterilization pasteurization and sterilization are done for the disruption or inactivation of microorganisms to enhance the food safety and storage life we know that Mechanism. Destruction of microbes or enzymes by microwaves was explained by one or more of the following theories. There is a, uh, there is, we are discussing four theories about um, how the pasteurization and sterilization occur by these microwaves. First one is selective heating, then electroporation, cell membrane rupture and magnetic field coupling. So first is selective heating theory. The microorganisms are selectively heated due to microwaves and reach temperature higher than that of surrounding. This causes the microorganism to be destroyed more quickly. The other one is electroporation theory. The electrical potential across the cell membrane causes pores, pores, which results in the leakage of cellular material. Thereby, the microorganisms are destroyed. Then the other one is the cell membrane rupture theory. Cell membrane rupture due to the voltage applied across the cell membrane. Basically, all are the same. Magnetic field coupling theory. The internal component of the cell are disrupted due to the coupling of electromagnetic energy with the critical molecules such as protein or DNA. So, this is the four basic theory uh, why the pro uh, why the pasteurization and sterilization occur. Okay. Then, uh, discussing about the microwave pasteurization. Microwave pasteurization has been largely applied to fluid foods such as. Uh, for the food, fresh juice and milk and microbial enzyme microbial and enzyme inactivation of various foods such as apple juice apple cider coconut water grape water juice milk and sweet potato were evolved 
pasteurization of also we can pasteurize the salted materials such as egg can be achieved with the help of microwaves it was shown that uh, the microwave pasteurization of the shell egg can be achieved without losing the shell integrity of the eggs okay so we can uh, pasteurize uh, mainly the fluid products such as milk and fruit juices also we can pasteurize solids such as egg uh, and all and other solid products then microwave sterilization microwave sterilization technology is unique that it can be applied to both the solid and liquid food as well as complete meals sealed in a multi compartment trays so the uh, advantage of sterilization is it can be also sterilize the packaged food products that is uh, not a conductor material system can be designed to work in batch or continuous mode and can achieve an equal kill of any selected food pathogens as compared to conventional uh, pressurized hot water by adjusting process time and microwave power level so microwave sterilization can sterilize contaminants more quickly and treat a wider range of microorganisms it is a thermal process that deliver thermal energy to food under pressure to achieve inactivation of bacteria harmful to human so microwave sterilization is the widely using techniques in the food industry to destroy or to kill all the microorganisms in the food so this is a microwave sterilization equipment using in the food industry okay then the next application next industrial application is baking the first commercial success of microwave or radio frequency energy was in the baking industry so we know microwave processing began shortly after world war second uh, with the introduction of the first microwave oven by Lithan Zio spend less time the advantages of the baking using microwave oven is spend less time on food preparation has led to great demand of free saving ready to heat frozen products of microwave heating so bread and biscuits are mainly producing using microwave technology this is a convenient to operate and control and is more energy efficient and it is, is easy to clean okay the next application is uh, puffing and foaming so uh, ultra rapid internal heating uh, due to this microwaves ultra rapid internal heating cause puffing and foaming because the rate of heat transfer is greater than the rate of vapor transfer out of the product interior so microwaveable products are uh, again worldwide acceptance as a convenience food uh, if one such ready to eat products are puffed or popped starchy grains like corn rice sorghum it is it is more digestible it can be produced domestically by using microwave ovens okay it's also can be we can use in domestically or uh, puffed rice a bowl grain puffed products from pre gelatinized milled rice is one of the convenient rice based popular products consumed in the most rice growing countries the main product of the puffing is the puffed rice okay this is a microwave puffing system in the industrial level so the next is concentration simply uh, liquid uh, products can be concentrated using the microwave microwave heating has also been used to concentrate heat sensitive solutions and slurries at relatively low temperature the next one is pre cooking of bacon the microwave heating is found to be an ideal system for cooking bacon compared to conventional grilling because microwave heating of bacon produces better structure with less shrinkage so heat transfer problems encountered by conventional uh, means were easily covered by this uh, easily overcome by this uh, microwave heating so baking of cakes donuts uh, processing and also frying also can be uh, in this <clears throat> so the next is uh, domestic applications the main domestic application is uh, microwave oven okay the microwave oven is relatively small box like oven that increases the temperature of food by subjecting it to a high frequency electromagnetic field the microwaves are absorbed by water fat sugar and certain other molecules whose consequent vibration produce heat the heating thus occur inside the food without warming the surrounding generally microwaves oven produce a reduction of frequency of around 
2450 megahertz by means of magnetron okay this is already discussed about the what's the microwave oven on the previous slide okay so this is uh, not a, not a harmful to human body and the metal packaged food cannot cook in a microwave oven because it block the microwave we know that only non conducting material pass the uh, microwaves so metallic or conducting material cannot be used for this microwave heating glasses ceramic materials polythenes paper it is such material do not absorb the microwave and hence do not heat up okay then the next one is thawing uh, firstly i say that thawing is uh, thawing using micro wave is not an ideal method thawing or defrosting means frozen foods kept in a place where it can be reached to room temperature so it can be reduced defrosting frozen meat is the microwave will take less time but it's not ideal because the best way to know uh, because why this is not ideal saying that uh, uh, when we thawing using this microwave oven it's uh, more easily uh, reaching to this room temperature so it's most dangerous so best way to thaw frozen meat is uh, to move it to the refrigerator and leave it there until it's completely thawed the next one is blanching it is a unit operation practiced in canning dehydration freezing industry it has uh, it is uh, it has a wide range of applications uh, in this also domestic and uh, industrial applications in short time exposure of the products to boiling water steam or microwave for the primary purpose of inactivating uh, oxidative enzyme which otherwise would cause undesirable change in color flavor and texture of the product during storage uh, the study says that microwave blanching is such a more effective than other blanching method this can be sa said based on the fact that microwave blanching does not involve water as required in the process of wet blanching and thus reduce the chances of microbial contamination this is the most advantages of the blanching okay then we are all discussed all about uh, the um, the applications of the microwave then some of the advantages of the microwave microwave penetrates inside the food material and therefore cooking takes place throughout the whole volume of the food rapidly which significantly reduces the processing time and energy since the heat transfer is fast nutrients and vitamin content as well as flavor sensory characters and color of the foods are well preserved the next is high heating efficiency it has the microwave oven has a high heating efficiency and uh, also it's easy to clean and uh, it is suitable for heat sensitive high viscous and multi phase fluids okay then heat is silent and does not generate exhaust gas these are the advantages of Uh, microwave processings uh, these are reference and books or journals are mentioned here that i referred to make this slides also, also thank you